Hi, this project is going to show you how to create an infinite maze. This guy will be able to wander through the maze, going everywhere. When he uh, finds the treasure chest, it will take him to the found the treasure screen and, and you'll beat the game that way. Now there's two sides of the cave. You could actually, the great thing about this, I think, is that you can have as many cave, as many parts of the cave, as many cave backdrops as you want. And um, you only need one of these sprites. It will clone itself here and here. And when the user touches one of those gates, the uh, backdrop will flip. And uh, at the same time, everything will be reset where you want it. Uh, okay, first let me show you how to get the, uh, the, the little man uh, set up. So I left sort of um, dummy values, mostly zeros in all of these scripts, but um, you need to fix these first so that uh, they will stop him from running into the walls, well walking through the walls. You see his boots are black, but there's these pink pixels between them, this pink bar. That is what is going to stop him from going through the wall. I made him nice and big, so I can grab that color in all four places. Then um, what color do we want him to not go through? The black color. So when the pink bar right there touches uh, the black walls, it will send him back four spaces. And um, yeah, that's pretty simple really. Oh, I've got to make sure this is really black. Okay, and oh yeah, let's set where he's going to start. Oh, first let's get him back to normal size. Then he will start over here. And I need to grab a, uh, some coordinates from right there. And let me show you where to put those. Uh, these go right here. Oops, let me get rid of the old coordinates. Okay, so there's our new coordinates. Everything, well not everything, but just the little man. He should work now. And I can go up here. The gate doesn't work. The treasure chest doesn't work yet. But I can go anywhere I want. Obviously, these gate, these uh, passages are not uh, linked up yet. That is the next thing I'm going to show you. So um, let's modify the uh, pink gate. Um, if you want to have more exits, like let's say that I made a third cave and I want to put a way from cave one into cave three, I just, you know, duplicate that part. Um, if I want to add uh, cave three and cave three needs its own exits, I just duplicate this and um, I would select Cave 3 there. Obviously there's no Cave 3. But this time I'm just going to show you how to switch, um, use the gates to go back and forth from Cave 1 to Cave 2. Um, first I need to decide where these will go. Uh, if the, if my, you know, if the um, gate is hiding, I made this little script right here which will show it. And it's also important to set the ghost effect to zero because once the gates are placed, they're just going to be clones. And the clones will be invisible because I set the ghost effect to 100. Um, right now, though, we need to be able to put it where I want it. Grab the coordinates. This is cave one. Okay. Here's the, here's the other one, the coordinates for the other one. Actually, you might want to have this kind of over on the edge. Get rid of the old coordinates. And now I'm going to set where these take you to, which is cave 2, k 
wave two. And um, now I need to set these. And these will depend on um, this guy, actually. So let's change the backdrop to the second cave. Here we go. And we want him to start about there, right? Uh, you don't want him to start over here because then when we put the pink gate down, uh, he would hit the pink gate and immediately go backwards. We don't want that. Um, so um, we want him to start there. Let's go over to the scripts. Let's grab the coordinates, but this time we're going to drop these into the gate. If I go over here, here's the coordinates for the little man, and I'm going to copy them to the teleport coordinates. And uh, I'll just do that again really quickly. Oops, got to put them in the right place. Let's do that again really quickly for the other gate. And uh, not there, but here. Negative two zero nine, negative one two zero. Okay. So now the gates to take you to the right half of the cave should work. Let's uh, oh, let's uh, hide the pink gate, and let's see if the gates work. Give it a test spin. Bingo! But I can't go back because uh, I did not place the gates over here yet. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to try and do this in um, high speed. Of course, I'm not going very fast right now. Um, okay, gate one will take him there. So let's grab coordinates, drop them on the gate, let's go to the gate, those coordinates go with that, and um, these coordinates, oops, go with this gate, um, okay, let's, let's copy these in, 214, 34, 2, 4. Oh, somehow I got the same darn coordinates. Okay. Got to do it again. That kind of confusion is easy. Uh, I want him to come back there. Let's go back. Okay. And now I'll move him here to the second portal. Okay, now I've got the right coordinates. Oops. There. Okay, let's copy the coordinates. 204. 2. Where is it going to take us? Cave 1. This one. 212. Where will it take us? Cave 1. Um, I can throw these away. No, now I need to put these gates in the right place. So, uh, oops. That should show the basic gate. Now, place it here. Of course, in the game, these will all be clones. So this one is the original sprite that I'm placing. It will actually disappear later. Here's the coordinates for the first. Uh, whoops, I'm looking at the wrong backdrop. Ha 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 ha. Okay, uh, backdrops, backdrops. This backdrop. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to need a gate. Oops, gate right there. And scripts. 
So that one will go there. Throw that away. We need to replace the other gate there and take the coordinates. Here we go. Throw the old coordinates away. Um, now all the entrances and exits, or all the portals, as I call them, should... Oh, I forgot something. This is the original sprite. We need to hide it for the game to work. Okay, start over. He's going to come down here. We'll test these gates first. Ooh, this seems to work. Great, both ways, there, both ways. Excellent. So uh, the last thing we have to do is this treasure chest. Let's show it. There it is. We can decide where to put it. I'm just going to put it there. Um, the scripts for this are much simpler. Of course, eventually I'm going to... Uh, make it so there can be infinite treasure chests, but this is, these are the simple scripts. They're not really that awesome. Um, so this is just in case you lose the chest. Uh, oh, uh, I want to put it in cave one, right? Okay, cave one, starting area. Okay, that should all be good. And it's going to switch the backdrop to the windscreen, obviously, when we find it. Let's see how the completed game works. Okay, you'll see the... I can't see the treasure chest yet, but it starts to show up when we get close. When we touch it, found the treasure. And that will be the uh, end of your game. So I don't think I have anything else to show you. I hope you learned something from that. And, uh, of course, look out for um, other versions of this project where I will show you how to make infinite treasure chests and um, maybe even monsters someday. Thanks for listening.